right now psychologically it's counting five is better than counting three this week on adventures of jacques Cousteau. well we don't have to play at all i mean i know the point at which it actually moved. no i like it oh thank you <laughs> it's something different Do not adjust your sense. This is broadcasting to your community. We will be in a moment. Two, one, and by magic, they disappear and we appear. Who's wow. that? That's my tech, isn't it? <laughs> You can go wonder if our, this time. I wonder if our viewers are like, am I in the right place? Is this the right show? <laughs> well, that's, that's why I did the voiceover to say, don't you're not tuned to uh, an episode right. of Nick Go Wild. But don't adjust yeah, anything. Yeah. I'm quite quite enjoying making those. I've done 24 so far. And it gives me a kick to actually see them being used at the start of shows because people don't say they're going to use it, they just use it because all you need is the YouTube URL. And you can play right. any 24 videos in any show, wherever you broadcast from, whether you broadcast from BeLive or SY, uh, you can right. have a countdown clock. And uh, as I say, you've got a choice of 24 now. Yeah. So you're making those? Yeah. Oh, okay. So what it, where do you get the footage? Like, is that an in-video thing? or? It is, yeah. The, okay. uh, the countdown clock is mine. I wrote the countdown clock. And yeah. the video is from video, and so is the music. So it's all stop video and stop music. And say good afternoon to Barry. Hello, Barry. Good afternoon. Yeah. So it's a co-production. I mean, it wouldn't exist without in video. And I, I've seen these countdown timers which flicker. I hate those. I want it to just go over uh, naturally. So no flickering. Um, right. So I'm, I'm set, enjoying doing it. And there are 24, and anybody who broadcasts live can use them. And we're lucky in Be Live. All we need to do is get the URL, paste it into the Be Live Studio, and the video just plays. Simple as that. Nice. A nice right. new feature oh. of Be Live. Indeed. How are things in Sarnia? Uh, good, I think. Yeah, like we haven't, uh, I think as of today, we're up to 20 deaths, um, mm -hmm. which which is, uh, well, it's 20 too many. However, it, yeah. it's, it's, it's slowing down. Like, that Good. happens every every few days. Like, we were at 16 for quite some time, and then we're at 17 for quite some time, and so on. But um, there's uh, um, still an outbreak uh, in three areas, I believe. I actually... I'm a bad boy. I missed the media call this morning. Mm. Uh, well, <laughs> they that, went on me. No, that, and that's the good indication that we know things are on the on heading the right way, and therefore we don't pay such close attention as we did in the early days. I and mean, if we go back seven or eight weeks, then we didn't we didn't have a clue what was happening. We didn't know how bad it was yeah. going to be. We didn't know how we'd be affected, and now we do. And we yeah fortunate to be coming through it but we are on the other side now you feel yeah oh my correction so it was yesterday it was at 20 now uh today as uh as of last night i should say 21 uh yeah. 248 confirmed cases and 177 recovered and three outbreaks so our our, our marshall golan manor like i was telling you where my, my mom and dad are is still in an outbreak yeah. and um Vision Nursing Home is probably one of the worst. Well, it's, it's the worst one that's being affected. There's, don't quote me these numbers. I haven't looked updated, but there's like over ten staff and over ten residents affected. So uh, they're struggling there. But uh, yeah, mm. Are you still got this. Stay home, or you've got more freedom than 
Mm-hmm. Well, we we were we were asked to stay home. Yeah, we weren't told we had to stay home. We were never told you can only go out once a day for a walk, that kind of thing. So, like, I've been out riding a motorcycle, and you know, I've I've yeah. is is that necessary for my mental health? Yes. <laughs> right. I don't know. It's not. It's 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 been uh, well no more today. I got to do the the broadcast again for Premier Doug Ford. Uh, uh, I know they're working. The things have gotten a little more relaxed, and I think what's happening is um, people are are just uh, saying, as long as I'm social distancing, what's the problem? Yeah, that's kind of what the the thought is. I I think you know so. And uh, I don't know if I'm right or wrong. I put a lot of thought into it, but I'm I'm one of those. I'm like, if I'm not, like, is it okay for my son to come back over and stay here? Yeah. Many have said, yeah. Where's he? He's yeah. being called back to work. Um, so, you know, nobody wants to break any laws, I guess, and nobody wants to harm anybody, but, you know. But we do, we do uh, need clear guidance. Uh, and Kelly's here. Hello, Kelly. Although it's hotter than the snakes, something in a wagon drought. 29 <laughs> degrees feels like 36 with the humidity. Humidity. Yeah. Right. It is a hot one, for sure. Right. At the beginning of the pandemic, we were just talking about this a moment ago, the government advice in the UK was to stay home. And whilst it wasn't a legal requirement, it was strongly expressed that everybody should stay home and you should not leave your home unless you went out for one exercise a day or you had to go and get food or uh, you had a medical problem. Those are the only three reasons you're allowed to go out. You couldn't go out for any other reason at all. And the 60, 70 million people in the UK, all countries, did exactly that. They stayed home. They did not move. Okay, people just went out when for exercise once a day. There's a gentleman called Dominic Cummings. Now he is not an MP. He is not a civil servant, but he did. If you want, if you want to go back a bit, he is the one who ran the Brexit campaign. He okay. decided to um, get Brexit done. Was his slogan. He succeeded in doing that he helped our prime minister gain a, a huge majority of 80 in parliament he's the brains be he's the he's the guy who has the technical nous and political nous to actually get things done and get things changed he's special we all know he's special and he thought he was special so he decided that he would leave home not stay home and with his wife and young son drive 250 miles up to where his parents live and his parents uh, landed they've got property so he was able to stay in one of the houses whilst mm-hmm. they were there they went out for a drive um he did everything but stay home and of course as things happen everybody found out about this and the prime minister yesterday came on television to defend him and say he did the right thing even though he didn't stay home like 69.999 million people did <laughs> he did the right thing because somewhere in the small print which we weren't told about until now it said if you can actually if the child is at risk then you can actually do things nobody knew about that millions of people didn't know about that know about that we couldn't do anything we stayed home he trolled off up the motorway and as we speak now he is trying to defend his position live on the bbc and uh, he's been given a hard time basically he wants to stay in his job but he doesn't think he's done anything wrong and there's a petition uh, signed by half a million people myself and angela included saying he's got to resign because you can't tell the people of your country to do one thing and then say ah but not me so that is raging at the moment. As I say, it's live on the BBC at the moment. I do feel strongly about it. He is, I'm not going to swear on television, but on live video, but he is not to be trusted. Right. So 
Don't go now, but if you want to go to the BBC later, you can actually watch the interview where a man defends the indefensible. Um, and whether you actually stay in your job, I don't know, but he shouldn't be there. He shouldn't be running our country. That's all I'm going to say. Well, we had uh, um, our, our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, mm -hmm. um, I think, what did he do? He went, did he go to his cottage or something? He did something uh -huh. and he took kind of a storm over it. Um, our premier, Doug Ford, who uh, many uh, who, who were not for voting for him or wanting him have come forward and said, you know, he's doing a great job. I right. for one think he's doing a great job. Uh, he has four daughters, I think, and uh, two of them were, I think, at their mother's. And, and he said that and he came out and, and he wasn't asked if he did this. He just came out and said it. You know, yeah. I had my two daughters over, but we were social distancing, yeah. and he took some crap over that. I don't know if anybody's really officially asked them to resign. I, I don't know. I don't have all the details to make the proper, uh, you know, there might have, there's, I'm sure there was defense in there. Well, he didn't really defend it. He just, he said, hey, yeah, hey, I had him over. So, um, but we were social distancing. Yeah. So, uh, but, you know, I know what you're saying, you know, especially as a leader, like you have to lead by example. That's it. You That's know? it. In, in you don't show. tell your That's kids it. not to drink and drive and then go have six beers and go for a drive. <laughs> you know? no. No, it's just, yeah. it's not done. It just isn't done. But you, so, you're, you're adamant. You want him gone. Like you, there's no, no, there's like, no, uh, no exceptions. No, no because... Nearly 70 million people stayed at home. Yeah. And he was the architect of that policy. He told people to stay at home and mm -hmm. then totally okay. disobeyed it. Why, so why did he go? I, right. You know that our prime minister did catch coronavirus and was in hospital. Right. Uh, it was felt that those in his inner circle would have uh, a possibility of having coronavirus. He was... Uh, in Downing Street, he went home. His wife was ill, and she thought she had coronavirus. Right. Uh, so they couldn't arrange anybody to look after their child if they both had coronavirus. So knowing that he possibly had coronavirus and his wife might have coronavirus and their child might catch it, they got in the car and drove 250 miles. When the advice was, stay if you've got coron if you feel you've got coronavirus, stay at home for 14 days. Don't even go outside. Right. That was told. That was everybody was told that, and everybody did that. Everybody yeah. was affected by it. Stayed inside for fourteen days. He didn't. He didn't. So where did they and go? Like two hundred and fifty miles. Like where did they go? Uh, that's up in the north. Um, it's Barnard Castle, uh, which is in. I'm going to get this wrong, but it's up in Yorkshire. Um, okay. It is a two hundred forty mile drive. 250 mile and he drove he, he, saying he drove for four hours he didn't want to get out of the car uh with a with four year four year old in the back seat you're going to stop somewhere along the 240 miles right i don't i don't believe him uh I, I, he's trying his best to actually uh okay right hello hey, bruce, bruce sorry. hello barry who's bruce i don't know or it is it a TV show? I don't know. I don't, politics show? Or I don't know. I have no idea. Clarify, Mr. Shoddy. Yep. Yeah, you bamboozled us. Um, so is he, I'll just check if he's still talking. The, the media that were reporting some of these things that were wrong were told them. And it's that he wouldn't. He uh, he's taking questions from the press and he's still there. Whether he will be there in the morning or not depends. So, do you on think he'll resign or be fired? Or well, nobody gets fired. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's, he's he's totally self-absorbed in his own world. We don't exist. Um, he would never resign because he couldn't do anything wrong. Yeah. So he's gonna <clears throat> he's gonna have to be pushed. He's gonna have to. Somebody's gonna have to sort of say, right, you've got to go now. And that somebody should yeah. be the prime minister. Uh, the Prime Minister defended him yesterday, but today uh, he's defending himself, and I don't think he's doing well. 
Oh, really? Right, okay. Now, the mystery thing, let's take the two sentences together. Uh, hello, hey, Bruce, and hello, Barry. And then the second clue is the retired Sarnia bus driver. Or is that the 21st person? I don't know, he, I don't know what he's asking. I'm lost. Right, okay. <laughs> Right, we've got a, we've got a mystery. Right, I've closed down the BBC now. We're not. <sighs> it 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 takes something to get normal people um, motivated, and rather, yeah. and and this is one of those occasions where everybody. I mean, his own, all political parties. Uh, there are people who are not happy. So, oh, mm. right. Okay, where do we go from here? What should we do next? Well, I know. Sorry, yeah, sorry, I just, I was yep. thinking. Oh, I, oh, I wasn't even prepared. Just a moment. No, I get those ready. I thought you got ready the night before and get it more sorted. I usually do. I, I know I'm slacking here, but I got them all. I. Uh, so no, that's interesting, right? I mean, you know, we rely on our leaders a lot, uh, a lot to uh, to represent and guide, and mm. so I guess. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. All right. Okay. This is it, folks. This is the bit of the show we all wait for. And I, <laughs> I'm going to disappear. I'm saying no more than that. And <laughs> hand over <laughs> to David with dad jokes. He, knows he, just, dis he just disappears because yeah. he doesn't want to be associated. He's like, I don't oh, want to no, be seen laughing. If I, I was seen there, laughing, I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. Mean? yeah some friend you are i'll tell you <laughs> well the bad dad jokes boy uh it was funny uh um i saw one I, i've been posting on my facebook uh bad I dad joke or dad, dad yeah. joke alert and one of my friends it's really funny you know sometimes you post certain things on facebook and certain people like it um, and then sometimes you post other stuff and certain people who you've known for years, like even personally, and has yeah. been on your Facebook and you've never seen anything from them. And all of a sudden they pop up and like it and make a comment. And you're like, oh, my God, how have you been? I haven't seen you in years. So it, it, right. it, that that's a true attestment to content. The power of dad jokes, icebreakers. And uh, my, my, yeah, that's right. My friend Bryn came on. Uh, and she's that example. I haven't talked to her in years, and uh, um, she's been busy raising children. And she said, when does a dad joke become a parent? Or no, when does it? Uh, I when does a dad when, joke when does a joke a become a dad joke? And the answer is when it becomes a parent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's not even the a list, is it? No, it Sorry. isn't. I messed it up. I had to lead in there and I messed it. Okay. Client says, could I try the suit in the shop window, please? Salesperson. I'm sorry, but no, we have changing rooms for that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what lights up a soccer stadium? I don't know, David. What lights up a soccer stadium? A soccer match. Oh, groan. That's the first one of the week. <laughs> Um, okay, those I, I haven't read any of these. What do you call a bull that likes to nap? I don't know, David. Would you tell us? A bulldozer. Uh, a bulldozer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I think he's, he's all right. Yep. I think Stephen needs to just record his groans and then just have it as a, <laughs> a playback track. Push the button. An amnesiac walks into a bar. He goes up to a beautiful woman and says, so, do I come here often? Okay, that's, yes, that's, uh, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, no groan. No, 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 this is uh, double entendre. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which website did Chewbacca get arrested for creating? I don't know, David. Which, re no, can you just, I don't know, David. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> struggling there. Wookie leaks. Uh, Wookie leaks. He's okay. a Wookie. Yeah. Yep. He is. Yep. Knock knock. Who's there? Pavlov. Just checking. <laughs> okay. I am conditioned. We're all conditioned. 
I'm not even, I, I had to look that one up. I don't get that one. Uh, <laughs> wow. This should be a good finisher. Well, I got one more after this. It's hard to explain puns to kleptomaniacs because they're always taking things literally. <sighs> uh, That's true. That is true. That's true. <laughs> okay. And and one more. Why did the can crusher quit his job? I don't know, David. <laughs> Why did he quit his job? Because it was so depressing. So depressing. So, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I, I, I understand. I understand. Yeah. Moving I on. do understand. Moving on now. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. <laughs> right. I don't even know how that even got started. How did we get started doing? I don't know. Bad, bad, you turned the calendar one week. That was it. You were away. And it's <laughs> My daughter's very, very proud. And she, I tell her, I said, oh, every week on this show, really? Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad you're getting good use out of those, Dad. And I went, yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it, it changes the mood. We can go anywhere now. Uh, because we, we can, we can go anywhere that. we want. That's true. Now, speaking of which, uh, do you mind if I share a little video? Absolutely. You're not speaking. You, you, you've not seen it, basically, because okay. I, only, I only created it this afternoon. All so right. I'm going to bring it up on screen. I'm going to hide David and myself, and hopefully this will work. And I'm going to press play. Once you've done a live show, you've got a recording. And that recording can be used elsewhere. But how do you do that? Do you manually download it? and then, and then upload, upload it to YouTube, YouTube Vimeo, Vimeo and part, and of, part it of it to Twitter. Twitter. Or I'm is getting it an echo, Stephen. Automatically. Now, for the last two weeks, two weeks I've been looking at transferringvideos.com, um, which I discovered by accident, as you do with most things. And basically what it does is allows you to transfer files between places. So that me give you an example as an illustration. I can transfer using a link, and if I prepared one earlier which I have I can take this link here and I can put that link into transferring videos and just press go and you can see that it's actually transferring the file from Facebook onto transferring videos now, transferring videos will hold a file for 24 hours. So they're not holding content long term. It only stays on transferring videos for 24 hours. If you give it a link, then it will take the video from the link. You can upload a file from your hard drive. Or if you're actually working from the cloud, you can do it from Google Drive or OneDrive. And it goes through the video and it processes it. Okay, now we just need take that edit the title and copy the text from Facebook okay so I copied the text bring the text in here so the text is actually following the video and waiting for this to process right it's uploading the file once it's got the file uploaded then this is where the power comes because you don't have to do anything the file is actually on the transferring video site and uh, you can well let's take a look so now the file is completely uploaded and I've got a choice I can put I can trim the video if I want or I can put watermarks on I'm not going to do that for this so I just need to publish it. And after I've published it, I can take that video and I can go to YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Vimeo, Dailymotion, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, send it to email and send an email, download it or just get an MP3. If I want to go to Vimeo and just click the Vimeo button, the title and description are taken along and and just publish it. Now you can either publish directly or you can schedule it. Both work. I've tried both. 
So if I go publish, it's now going to take that video across to Vimeo. And if I go to Vimeo and follow it, Vimeo has got the video and is currently processing it. So it's uploading the video and it's being processed. I can also send that video to YouTube. So sending it to YouTube, I've set everything up beforehand and I just need to upload to YouTube. And I can either have it public, private or unlisted. I can put it which category I want. Uh, the only thing I can't do at the moment is tags, but I can do that afterwards. And it's now uploading the original video to YouTube with the title and the description. I don't have to do anything further other than press that one button and uh, it will go and it will do it and I've got to carry on talking while it does so I'm going to go over and explain the rest. Now I've been using it extensively as I say been using it extensively and we can now see that the video has been uploaded to YouTube and it's been uploaded to Vimeo. Coming back to the tab we're on you can see how I use this uh, basically I'll just refresh now uh, so I'm just refreshing the screen you can see that that video we uploaded has been scheduled and it's going to go to YouTube and it's going to Vimeo what if you want to send a clip to Twitter if I press that again and I select Twitter this time I get a new option and there I've got the video now I don't want the whole of the countdown to be included so I can take it back so that I only include that much of the countdown and we know that you can have two, tw two minutes 20 seconds video on Twitter so I'm going to trim it to 2 minutes 20 I've got it 3 minutes at the moment so I need to go a bit further to the left and I'll get there in a minute I just need to push a little bit further so there we have it and you can do the adjustments so I've got it 2 minutes 13 which will do and it will now trim the video because we're only allowed to have a 2 minute 20 second video on Twitter so that's doing that okay and whilst that's doing that I can show you that when I did the uh, Showcaster countdown videos I uploaded all six to here to transferring videos and then I sent them out now I'm not playing the full video um, but that is uh, basically if I hide that video and come back to the two of us which I will do hopefully in a second that's something <laughs> like that's something I've enjoyed using as you could tell hopefully uh, for the last couple of weeks um, I can, all I can say is it simply works <laughs> We've okay, got sir, your 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 audio and your video are way out of sync. Are they? They're oh, okay. way out of sync well, when you were talking. Right, there. The, the, the floor is yours. I'm going to refresh. Okay. No, you're okay now. You're okay That's now. That's interesting. I'm okay now. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. So uh, no, that's really cool. So is that a, a free or a paid service or? It, it's a paid uh, service. You can go for one month, three months, or a year. Uh, it ranges from $29 through to $89 for a full year. If you do the one or three months, then you get standard definition. If you go for the annual payment, you get high definition. And um, the other thing it does, which no other package does, is it will transfer from YouTube. Don't, just don't ask me how it does it. But you can take a YouTube video and repurpose it on Facebook and on Twitter and on Vimeo. Oh, okay, nice. So it's, well, it's, it's totally similar, so. similar to repurpose, but different. <laughs> it's it's similar to repurpose, but different. It's I mean, I repurpose a show 
I like this show, 30 minutes after the show has ended, it will be on YouTube, it will be on um, Vimeo, it will be on Twitter. Um, so for me, it's a time saver. Um, and it's not as, hmm, I like it. That's all I can say. Yeah, I mean, I it depends you. on what you want to do. It depends whether you are repurposing or not. Uh, I yeah. mean, we do the repurposing to reach a wider audience. And the sooner you can do that after the content is done, the better. Um, so you're in total control. You decide what goes where, when. As I said, with, with the um, the Showcaster countdown, um, if I'd been doing that manually, it would take forever to actually go over to six videos to YouTube, six videos to Vimeo. Um, whereas that piece of software pays for itself every Sunday because I'm doing six uh, countdown videos each week. So just by doing that, it's paying for itself because it works out at uh less than two dollars a week which yeah. in in terms of cost and that's obviously a recurring fee but if you compare that to uh repurpose which is 240 dollars yeah 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 it's sort of half the price and I mean, you're having to go in there and do it manually right but it's still yeah. It's still pretty. Uh, oh, well, pretty I, I could. There's an option I didn't show, which I'll do in a future video, but not a future show. And that is you can set it to do it automatically. So you could say, right, okay, take all my Facebook videos on this page and put them on YouTube. Take all my Facebook oh. videos on this page, put them on Vimeo. And it will do that. Uh, but I need to talk to developers first before, <laughs> before I recommend using that because I found out that it doesn't just take your new ones. It says, hello, you've got 1,200 videos on Facebook. I'm going, oh. to, start <laughs> I'm going to start transferring them for you, um, which is fun. Right. It's the history of live video, but I don't want 1,200 yeah. videos suddenly to appear on my YouTube account. So, but well, the, you might the, get more views. There. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a possibility. That's what I'm aiming for. Um, and I've taken decision this week, which should affect my YouTube views um in coming months and that is you, that my courses are going to be on youtube instead of udemy so that people can hop in and out of a video without signing up for a udemy course or anything um okay. so i'm doing a new course which is called be live 2020 uh mm -hmm. original title i know i'm doing a new course called lightstream 2020 and another new course called Restream 2020. You see that I mean, it all goes together. Yeah. And I've come up with, I've got this idea, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to wear a different colored T-shirt for each of them. Yeah. So you don't get confused. So if you watch, if I'm, an, if I'm in an orange T-shirt, I'm talking about the live. If I'm in a blue T-shirt, I'm talking about, this crackers I know. Never mind. No, <laughs> I think it's great, you know. Uh, yeah. let's talk about, uh, let's talk about repurposing for a bit if we can. Um, mm -hmm. because, uh, um, I, I've sort of adapted the way I teach repurposing in my class, for example. Yeah. Okay. Um, I find like a lot of people and, and guilty is charged for what I'm about to say. I don't, uh, I don't use the repurpose tool anymore um, because I changed the way I repurpose things. Right, um, okay, yeah. And what I mean by that is, so for example, like this show used to be repurposed, taken right from here, and then automatically yeah. uploaded to my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And I, I've, I've uh, while well, I've been taking a couple of courses and I've been doing some other looking around and whatever and it's like what's the point like what is the point of having the exact same video on facebook on youtube yeah now the argument there would be well more uh, more discoverability mm -hmm. so they, they you're on facebook and now you're on youtube so google finds you in more places if you do a search for David Burroughs, I don't care where you find me as long as you find me. And if you find right. me on Facebook, you found me. It doesn't matter that I'm on YouTube with the exact same video. 
No, now, he's funding it. it. That's right. So, um, and 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 when it comes to things like Twitch, for example, like Twitch is not about recorded video. Although there is recorded video there, that's not what they're about. Mm -hmm. Twitch is about live. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, there used to be, if you went back about even three years ago with Twitch, you could argue uh, the way to get discovered is to go live you know, five hours a day, eight days a week kind of thing. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. um, and, and that was how to be discovered. It's not like that on Twitch anymore. Because okay. here's the problem. There yeah. is, if there's a hundred people in a room, there's more and more people going live. So if there's a hundred people in a room and 90 of them are going live, that leaves you 10 viewers for 90 people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're not getting discovered by going live anymore. YouTube is for discoverability. And going, that same personality going live on Twitch is for engagement. Right. When you're, when you're, now you could say the same thing. Well, what if I go live on YouTube? So recorded video is for discoverability, YouTube, and live anywhere else is for engagement with your audience. You're not typically, when you, like when you are created your, your video about transferring videos there. Great video, educational. I learned something. Great, I watched it. But you're not engaging with your audience, and and I don't mean you. I just mean anybody who makes yeah. that video. Yeah. You're you're just not engaging with them. You're putting out a video, and hopefully it's something that they're interested in, and they watch the video, and hopefully they click the subscribe button to come back for more. If you want to engage with me, come on over to my Twitch channel or wherever you're going live uh, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at eight o'clock. Ask all the questions you want live. So um, uh, uh, I encourage my students to go. Well, for example, there's a fellow that I watch. Uh, Harris Heller is his name on Twitch or Alpha Gaming on YouTube mm -hmm. or Ashney Christ. Uh, she's uh, a, a, a popular Twitch streamer. And I'm actually in one of her courses over the next about six weeks. But next four weeks, every Saturday, right. I'm taking her, her uh, stream coach. And um, um, she hasn't gone live in months. She's been creating her, her coaching. and But she puts out uh, YouTube videos almost every other day. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. You will not find that same video on her Twitch channel. Right. What a lot of people were doing was going live on Twitch and then taking a few clips from it and posting up highlights on their YouTube. Highlights, okay. But Harris Seller, for example, he goes live on Twitch and he engages with you and he talks about stuff. And then when he's on YouTube, he has topics and he creates videos on those topics completely different. You don't see them on his Twitch channel. Mm. Rant over. Sure. <laughs> no, 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 no. Valid run. Cool. Yeah. Um, Did, does, that, does that make sense? What I'm, do you see what I'm, I'm getting at yeah. there? Like, yeah, yeah, different platforms, different things. And you've got to decide yeah. your game plan for each uh yeah and yeah yeah i agree with you totally i agree with you totally now you yeah. will see for example the show i've changed what i do there you will see an episode of the show on facebook you'll see the exact same one on youtube mm -hmm. but i'm not yeah. taking it from facebook and uploading it to youtube when i go live i'm live on facebook and youtube at the same time right yeah so those two lives are not a repurpose it's an opportunity for me to engage with my audience right okay so you're taking comments from both facebook and youtube right yeah, yeah. right and that's the key that's the key you've got you can't you can't just respond to one of the channels you're broadcasting to. You've got to respond to them all. That's right. Yeah? That's right. So we that's and then yeah. that's different than repurposing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Repurposing is okay. to be discovered, and and I, I get yeah. So I've I've sort of changed the way I think about that, and and uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying Ashney's course because. Um, well, first of all, my college paid for it. Thank you. Okay. And um, 
Secondly, um, while there's some things in there that like I've used Ashney in my pieces of my course for since the beginning of the course. Yeah. And the reason I did was because her and I share a lot of the same philosophies and beliefs on how things should be done right. and um, building that relationship with her. So now I'm taking her course. I see a lot of things that I already know. Like some people say, well, what do you got to mm -hmm. take a course for? You're the live streaming teacher. Yeah. I already know some of this stuff, but a, it's nothing wrong with getting a refresher and a different perspective yeah. on some of those topics, yeah. like repurposing. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I'm learning some new things, and I'm engaging live with all the other 40 students. So uh, building relationships there as well. And uh, one of the things we talk about is networking. Mm -hmm. And uh, both Ashley and I are, are not a huge fan of the word networking, or at mm. least... <laughs> Steven's like, what's he saying? Um, or at least what it typically means. Networking to me is, um, has to be, there, there has to be benefits in, in networking, like um, without uh, uh, coming across as it's all about what you want out of it, right? It has to be a collaboration that works both ways. And I believe in networking and connecting with other people. However, I don't have to collaborate or take from every person that I meet either. And you, you will get to a certain point where people may start reaching out to you because they go, oh, yeah, there's somebody I want to work with because they're doing really well. And you have to kind mm -hmm. of decide who you have time to work with and who you don't. Yeah. Um, you can't work oh, with yeah. everybody. And yep. um, I want to network with the right people. So I think sometimes networking, when we say, well, you just, you need to network, you need to network, you need to network. You don't need to network. You need to build relationships. Mm -hmm. And there's a big key difference, in my opinion, between networking and building relationships. I always tell my students two words that you need to learn. By the end of the 15 weeks, you'll be rolling your eyes. There's those two words again, but it's impact and relationships. Mm -hmm. Now you have to reach out and, and network to get those relationships, but you don't have to be, it's, it's kind of like you don't have to become best friends with everybody you said hello to walking down the street. But if you see the same person walking down the street, the same street all the time, that doesn't mean that's the person you need to, to collaborate with. It just means you're both walking down the same street on your way to work or the bank or wherever mm -hmm. you're going all the time. So, yeah. um, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting word. Networking, build relationships, build relationships. It's, it, I agree. It's, it's got to be a two way street. Um, yeah. otherwise it becomes a monologue. And if you do monologues often enough, you'll end up talking to yourself. So you, yeah. <laughs> you've got to listen as well as, as well as talk. <laughs> So we're on the, we're on the same I, page. Yeah, yeah. Like I've had people reach out to me. I just got a text today. Somebody said, "Oh, hey, I'm I'm looking to do the same thing you're doing now. What's that that you're using? Hmm. Who are you? <laughs> like I don't know. Well, yeah, here. Yeah, let me just I mean, hand it all over to you. I did all this work, and uh, right. yeah, here you go. You can just have it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah. Networking is when somebody introduces you to somebody else and says, this is the person you need to know, and this is why you need to know, and this is what they can do for you and you can do for them. Right. Um, so, yeah, I'm on, we're on the same page there. Um, and it works. It works. Also, in the same vein, give us again works as well. If you do something now for somebody, then down the road you'll get benefit, not necessarily from that person, uh, but what you put out you what you reap you sow and that's very true um so yeah yeah I'm, i agree so you've changed your focus then well yeah I, I don't know if my focus has changed as much as how i am achieving it has changed mm -hmm. right um you know, and and uh, it's like since the whole pandemic thing, whatever, I've been going live more often than I used to. 
Um, and then I, you know, I, and I just had a conversation with Jennifer the other day and, and, and she's like, you know, it's great that you're doing this and whatever. She goes, what happens when pandemic's over? That day will come when we don't mm. know, yeah. but what happens yeah. when it's over? Are you going to stop broadcasting the premiere? Are you going to stop doing a lot of the things you're doing? And I'm like, that's a really good question because I always told myself that I was never really going to get into the news world. Um, right. But I've been saying, but I need to, I need to do a lot, uh, just a live or some kind of video, whether it's 15 minutes every day, I just need to put mm -hmm. something from the community out there. Right. I can do that. Um, it, it's a lot more work and et cetera. But even with all the other things I do, like, okay, when I get back to the Sarnia thing, if that day comes, hopefully, or I get back to doing all the regular things I was doing, can I still fit all of that in? And the answer is simply yes um and then it, it just kind of changes a bit of of what the show with david burroughs is right mm -hmm. yeah um so there's the show with david burroughs still every week but then the rest of the week they'll just be little you know maybe there's a live of the premiere or there's a, a you know interview with somebody in the community for 15 minutes something every day and then uh, jumping more into the Twitch world. I'm, I'm working on that right now to set up a schedule. And I've been saying that for a while, but I'm closer and closer. So it's, uh, uh, you know, and if you and I look back, Stephen, to a couple of years ago when we started broadcasting to your community, it was broadcasting to your community live streaming tips. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We don't always talk about live streaming tips. Sometimes oh. we don't even talk about video or anything else. Sometimes we just talk. The broadcasting mm -hmm. to your community show has turned into a re, uh, a relationship and friendship between two gentlemen that enjoy live streaming. And we share some of our knowledge, but we laugh. We tell dad jokes. We're just a, a two community shows mm -hmm. mashed together from your world and my world and That's just, right. uh, okay. and, and Kelly shows up and Barry shows up and people show up and we have a good time. It's a cool community show. And I like that it's turned out that way, but the focus never changed. It was just kind of like how we got to where we were changed. Right. Yeah. So anyway, I'm taking over here. No, you're not, you're not. This is our show. Uh, see, it's, we, it's evolved from what it was when we yeah. began. I good agree. Word. I agree. Um, and it's allowed us to reach out and, and actually talk about uh, things from both sides of the Atlantic and to build a community. We said broadcasting to your community, which is what we're doing, but we're actually broadcasting globally. And we've met a lot of people uh, since we started doing this who've become firm friends, um, yeah. you know, which is, is darn good. Speaking of which, is it time for another five days live, you think, in June? Yeah, I don't see why not. I enjoy doing those. You know, I I, uh, I like participating in in, in those. Uh, I think you know, as long as we're, I mean, some of the subjects uh, um, are are necessary to uh, to uh, refresh or review, I guess. Yeah. But uh, I mean, we're always adding new topics to it, right? So that we're not repeating ourselves sure. and going. We'll just go back and watch that one, right? And and there always seems to be. Uh, some new faces popping in in there too, which means that uh, the yep. world of live streaming has uh, grown. Yep, I mean, indeed. I mean, if you, if you think we've got Marco and Fonz and Lottie and we've got the core and then we've, we've sort of built from there. Yeah, yeah. Um, Put me in, Coach. Can... I'm in. Brilliant. Okay, well, it's underway. Um, so if we pencil in the second week in June, then it's live planning. Yeah. Okay. And we can, we can talk about it afterwards. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a bank holiday today in the UK, though you wouldn't know oh. it. <laughs> no. Yeah, what's the difference? No, you have you still have holidays? <laughs> we still got holidays. There, this is an official national holiday, but all days are the same, so there's no real holiday. Uh, I mean, we went for a walk yesterday. Uh which was the first time we've been for a long walk uh, since this all began. And we went right. along the uh, Cairns Navon Canal and the Cairns Navon Canal has a cafe and the cafe was open. So this is a celebration to actually have 
a cup of coffee. I'm going to get this right if I try. A cup of coffee from a cafe um, was brilliant. And that, that's basically the banner on my page now is just two cups of coffee because that signifies that. I mean, I had a picture with one cup of coffee, but it's not the same when you've got two cups of coffee there. Uh, and it signifies that, that things are changing and we we're able to go out for a, a five mile walk. And on the way back, go. garden centers have opened. So we called in the garden center and uh, we got some plants for the garden. We got tomato plants and herbs and wild plants yeah so it was good well i hate to be the party pooper but i gotta get ready for uh the premiere at one o'clock okay i'll be curious to see what uh he's going to be talking about today so thanks again my friend steven for uh for looking after things cool. today okay take care David. see you soon and definitely in june <laughs> okay au revoir Bye for now. all right so david is going to go you know, well, he might stay, you know, know. that's gone. Right. Okay. Now what I need to do is hide. Right. I'm back. I'm back. Right. Okay. Uh, yes. With the current COVID schedule in Sarnia, uh, David has to queue up for a broadcast, which takes place in 10 minutes time. Um, which gives me a chance to show you another of my countdown clocks in a moment. Uh, these are, I mean, it blows me away that when I watch a, a show in my Facebook feed, I think I recognize that uh, countdown clock. I did that. So they are spreading. Uh, my master plan, uh, I've got 24 at the moment. My master plan is to have 36 and then uh, to release them as donation wear and say hello to Jackie. Bonjour. Comment ça va? And uh, nice to see you. Um, is to have sort of 36, 42 of them, um, and then it will become donation where, and if you donate, then you've got access to all 42 of them. That's my grand plan. My other plan is that my courses about live streaming, about be live, and about restream.io and Lightstream are going to be on YouTube so that you'll be able to pop in there and find out how to set up your camera on the live uh, restream or light stream and it will all be in the same place so you don't have to keep swapping courses and uh bah to be able to see what we'll see uh yes so you don't have to keep swapping between different udemy courses it's all going to be cross-reference cross-indexed it will be on vimeo as well so all the live courses that I do uh, will be in one place and hopefully more accessible uh, than on Udemy. The course I'm doing for free, so there is no real purpose of them being on Udemy. Udemy have taken uh, changed their policy, and Udemy do not uh, really want to have free courses, especially ones that are over three hours long. Ah, okay. Right, short story, a long story short, uh, I was born in Burnley, which is 20 miles north of Manchester in Lancashire. I then travelled down to Stratford-upon-Avon, home of the Bard, and I am currently, and plan to stay, in Devices in Wiltshire, which is close to, just a minute, I might have a picture to show you where I am. Here's a cow one around with me. That's where I am. I'm 20 miles away from Stonehenge. Uh, and in June 15th, our National Trust and English Heritage Properties will be opening up again. Now, the restaurant facilities and the cafes, etc., will still be closed, but you will be able to visit the ground. So in two and a half weeks' time, we'll be able to once again uh, go for a walk at Stonehenge, and I really am looking forward to that. Uh, it's going to be a staycation this year. There's nobody traveling abroad. I mean, I know Italy is opening its doors and you can go on holiday in Italy if you want. Uh, but I think most Brits this year will be having a staycation and staying at home and enjoying most of the UK. And, uh, ah, good, good. Uh, they do a 
amazing job of looking after Stonehenge. So we're we'll going to be out walking in uh, two and a half weeks' time, and uh, I should be taking uh, pictures, which I'll show during the live broadcast that we do. Right tomorrow, at nine a.m. Eastern, is myself and Fons Chamberlain from Cambridge, and tomorrow's show is I live here, and we show you two places that uh, we've either been to or we know of. And the show two heart three heart, right, Kelly knows it's a show of three bits, three sections. First section, I'll be showing you Cambridge. Now, the irony there is that Fonz lives in Cambridge and I don't. So, I'm my challenge from Fonz was to find video about Cambridge that he's not had a hand in. So, I'll be doing Cambridge. Then we have the pop quiz, which Kelly is an integral part of. Uh, and then that's going to be followed. Fonz is going to go to Chester. Now, Chester is uh, 30 miles from Manchester, uh, and Chester is a corruption of the Latin for castra, which is camp. So the Romans were in Chester. Uh, there are, oh, it's just an amazing place. You can still walk around the Roman walls, which uh, encircle the whole of the city, um, and you can step back in time. And it's just the most, I don't know what he's going to show us. I have no idea. We, I don't show, I will not be showing my Cambridge videos to Fonz and he won't show me his Chester videos. So we're both in for a surprise tomorrow when we actually start looking at the videos. So Cambridge pop quiz Chester is at 9 a.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. in the UK. We have great fun doing it and it's great that everybody actually joins in. Uh, pop quiz last week we got I think six or seven out of ten. It was a bad year. It shows. Uh, we're trying to better this week. Uh, again, no Alexa playing because we can't use Alexa anymore. Facebook didn't like it. Uh, but this has been broadcasting to your community with David Burrows in Sarnia in Ontario and myself, Stephen Healy down in Wiltshire, England, 20 miles away from Stonehenge. So I'll be back tomorrow at 9am, and I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you for watching today. And I'm going to play you out with, I'm going to play out with this. I'm going to, I'm just, I love creating these videos, and they're not just sort of the countdown videos. I'm going to repurpose these, I think. I'm going to bring this on screen, and I'm going to go uh, full screen with it when I can get find the button. So from everybody at Broadcasting to Your Community, it's goodbye for now. See you next week.